Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Switchy Halloween Special. Today, we're going to be talking about zombies, ghosts, and monsters. You know, Halloween stuff. I know it's a bit of a spooky night, but I'm sure everything will be fine. What the hell is that? Ah, Remember me, Kyle? Did you just possess into my video? Yes, I did, Kyle, for I have transcended, for I can see through you. You are merely another palm to the tarot card reader of my mind. There is not a sound of yours that I cannot hear, for I have three ears, two physical, and one of the immaterial plane. Everything here is temporary, everything will die, and you are eventually- Can you stop? You're kind of bumming me out. Nothing matters in the big picture. Hello and welcome to another countdown. Trick or treating is one of the most fascinating traditions that we have today. In a world which sociologists say lacks unity, it's still interesting how everyone's on the same page when it comes to Halloween. Eating candy, dressing up, and having a scare are all things that we love about this holiday. But we often seem to forget about the pumpkins. Pumpkins have taken over Halloween today, and frankly, they deserve all the praise they get. They're big, tasty, and versatile. And of course, an icon that big would find itself into our media. Pumpkins are everywhere, and we're dedicating today's list to pumpkins and video games. The good old games we played as kids may be dead, but we should remember that Pumpkin World is still available to play today. Parents out there, if you need to help your kids identify numbers, prepositions, and more, we recommend Pumpkin World. The game provides a valuable escape from our world and promotes healthy values including acceptance and positivity. And with a body like that, why wouldn't you want to flex? We're comfortable saying that the characters provide good role models too. Notably the pumpkin who you serve at the restaurant. He kindly asks for food and you simply give it to him. And he shows a great attitude about it. No! I don't want that! The first thing we see him do is look both ways before crossing the street. What a guy! He has the time to keep himself safe and advocate for himself in a healthy way. I'm more than happy to serve a pal like him. Infectious smile, good posture, and a valuable role model. What's not to love? I'll be back in 10 minutes! Earthbound's enemies are full of character, and all their silly quirks are entertaining and memorable. One of our favorite enemies in the game is the Trick or Trick Kid. We recommend getting rid of any predisposed distaste for the Trick or Trick Kid due to his admittedly mediocre pun for a name, especially when there are other enemies nearby like the Smiling Sam and Handsome Tom. At this point you'd have already developed an immunity for tacky nicknames, and if you've made it through public school, make that double. As it turns out, the Trick or Trick Kid is quite special beneath the surface, just like all of us in a way. Speaking of beneath the surface, what exactly is the Trick or Trick Kid? We're led to believe it's just a cheeky kid at first, but he disappears when you save Threed from its monsters. Maybe he just lost his motivation to bring fear to Threed once the sun came out. Or maybe he can't even survive in sunlight. Who knows? One thing we do not like is his blatant refusal to negotiate. No matter what, he'll attempt to trick you. Self-defense or running away are your only options here. But I think that, at the end of the day, this is a good message to send. Because sometimes peace can't solve all your problems. Quite realistic. Take that, Undertale. Rareware have been the puppeteers behind many Nintendo 64 cult classics, one of them being the creative and colorful Banjo-Kazooie. We all appreciate this game for its pure platforming bliss, but I don't see as much love for the transformations as I'd expect. The power-up at first seems like nothing special, but even with its lacking arsenal of special abilities, the smaller size gives Banjo the ability to fit through spaces and tunnels he couldn't normally enter through. Quite ironic considering that the pumpkin is a fruit commonly known for its large size, but it's all relative, you know? One interesting fact is that the pumpkin transformation is the only one that is required to beat the game, and when you're competing against a bee, a crocodile, a dragon, and even a washing machine, it's a good feeling of sticking it to the elites. We really just wanted to stress how essential Pumpkin Banjo is. The only thing more essential is its jolly old bounce. It makes being a pumpkin even more fun, and usually that kind of thing is a little bit restricting, you know? Although he is a pumpkin, he puts forward the effort to be able to walk and save his little sister. Follow your dreams, kids. Like 
Something interesting about the newer Pokemon games is how there have been six individual ghost slash grass type Pokemon in the last two generations, even though that typing had never been used before. And although our favorite is probably Decidueye or something, is that how you pronounce it? I think we can all agree that Decidueye does not resemble any type of pumpkin. However, Pumpkaboo and Gorgeist do. Everyone loves a visit to the pumpkin patch. Some fresh products, the cool autumn air, and just the excitement of the coming holidays. Unless you live down here in New Zealand, in which all you get at the pumpkin patch is bloody jeans. Pumpkaboo and Gorgeist aim to do more than what you might expect. Although it would have been easy to just slap some eyes on a pumpkin, Game Freak did a wonderful job at providing them with distinct traits that make them stand out much more than your average pumpkins. The jack-o'-lantern design is more than just for show. They have the fun gimmick of coming in different sizes, all with different stats, which lets you find the ideal stat spread that works for you. Its signature move, Trick or Treat, allows the user to add the ghost typing to the opponents. Although it's a bit of a niche attack, you can add the typing to neutral opponents and use your ghost type moves on them to deal super effective damage. Regardless, the pumpkin Pokemon are definitely some of the most unique ghost type Pokemon in the roster, and that's something we appreciate. I'm just a puzzle girl, I will do whatever the fuck I say Every day she'll be giving it up Shake that ass for me Shake that ass for me Come on girl, shake that ass for me Shake that ass for me Although you may have expected this outcome, and you may even be disappointed that we were this predictable, yes, we decided to make the number one pumpkin in all of video gaming the one and only Minecraft Pumpkin. Bringing lovely utility and style to Minecraft, there's no reason not to admire the Minecraft Pumpkin. Although it can be debated that the pumpkin does not have as much depth as the other ones on this list, we strongly advocate that this pumpkin meets all the necessary criteria without question. It's definitely weird how old this is. This pumpkin came out seven years ago, back when Minecraft was in its blueprint days. Although at first it was a simple building block to chuck around a bit, the game continued to add more and more value to our body over time. At first, making jack-o'-lanterns, which produced a bit more light than your bog-standard torch, but that was really it. But now, you can make meals out of pumpkins. How groundbreaking is that? Notice that this pumpkin is the only one on the list that you can actually consume. Bit odd, because I'm pretty sure the main objective of a pumpkin is to, you know, eat it? Even in the distorted dimension of the end, the pumpkin of all blocks has a vital use, hiding you from the surrounding endermen and keeping you safe. The pumpkin's life-sustaining properties don't come only in the form of food, however because you can use it to create snowmen or iron golems that protect you and your friends from enemies. Props to the iron golem for its immense strength and the snow golem for leaving snow on the ground, which is good for harvesting, increasing winter stock, and therefore seeing an overall benefit in Minecraft economy. And although it's not new, the ability to craft jack-o'-lanterns in Minecraft of all games can always add a spooky vibe for the holidays, which is great. A fantastic way to embrace the October spirit and really makes up for the fact that there's a face carved in from the start. Like, for real, why are they pre-carved? Is there someone who goes around and just carves every pumpkin they see in the overworld? Is, is that how this works? Is, is it Herobrine? Hey Ricky, thanks for taking the time to embrace the October spirit with me. No problem Kyle, anytime. I guess, I'll see you later. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure about that just yet. What do you mean? There's one more thing. 